How goes it? I'm Louis Maxwell, and this is What Did We Miss? This is the segment where I tell you the stories WWAY did not, while trying not to be distracted that my fantasy football draft is going on right now. Composer Max Richter treated Los Angeles to an eight-hour classical music concert. Uh, if you're thinking, there's no way I could stay awake for eight hours of classical music, I've got good news. The show is called Sleep, and audience members are expected to do just that. They are provided cots and encouraged to doze. Uh, I couldn't attend an event like this. You know, some people sleepwalk, I sleep tambourine. My neighbors are not thrilled. If I was there, I'd probably try to sit in with the orchestra. Sleep is composed by Richter. Uh, if I wrote a piece that long, I would hide Easter eggs in it. Like, maybe five hours in, the band plays Camp Town Races. I'm very impressed with these musicians that can play for eight hours straight. I, I played euphonium in high school. I can play for 10 minutes before my lips are worn out. That's a lot of lip to wear out. We'll now take a brief pause before the next story so you can Google euphonium. You done? Traffic stops in Mexico City have gotten a lot more entertaining thanks to the Ardentia Dance Company. That's right, we're talking about classical music and ballet. Y'all didn't know you were catching the high culture edition of What Did We Miss? These pavement prima donnas provide 58 second performances while drivers wait for the light to change. Uh, this is great because the alternative is just everyone pulling out their phone to play Angry Birds. People still play Angry Birds, right? That's still a thing? Uh, sorry, I'm kind of in my head. Last week someone told me I made an outdated pop culture reference and I was like, did I do that? This is part of an initiative called the theatricality of public space. It's gotten people excited about the arts and brighten commuters day. There's just something about being stuck in traffic and being able to look right outside your window and see someone dancing beautifully out in the sun that just makes you go, I'm so glad I have air conditioning. Erica Glaze of Houston has a complaint for the manufacturer of her dining room table. Okay, see, she didn't want it to do that. Glaze received a notification from her alarm company saying three windows of her home had just been broken at once. She checked her security camera and instead found that her glass table randomly exploded. The explosion was so loud it set off alarms in three different rooms of the house. Uh, fortunately, no one was home and got hurt. Uh, this feels like something that would happen in my house. I would not be able to convince my mom it wasn't my fault. Like, I mean it this time. It broke itself. Erica Glaze looked into it and found that this company has received other complaints for their tables exploding. Uh, it's like if you could eat off of a Galaxy Note 7. Let's review the things that this segment has taught us to worry about. Robots, bears getting into cars, robots, and now glass tables. I'm Wills Maxwell, and that's what we missed.